political contacts are on a very high level. As I said, in international organizations, we also support each other today. We, of course, reviewed with Mr. Prime Minister these issues and also uh, talked about what we need to do in the future. Of course, our political contacts will successfully continue, but we need to work more on economic track, on the track of investments and creation of uh, uh, mutually advantages, maybe joint ventures. Uh, in economic area, we are not satisfied with the level of joint trade. Therefore, today we discussed how, discussed how to increase the level of mutual trade and what we can export to Pakistan and what Pakistan can export to Azerbaijan will be very closely addressed in the coming uh, months. And I think that we can establish such a mechanism of cooperation that what we import and Pakistan can supply, we should buy from Pakistan, and vice versa, the same, what Pakistan imports and we can supply to be bought from us. Also, we discussed today issues related to creation of joint ventures in Azerbaijan, particularly in the areas of uh, pharmaceutical industry. Pakistan is a very developed country from this point of view. We want to develop this industry in Azerbaijan because we largely depend on imports. Uh, significant part of our discussions was devoted to cooperation in the military area. We have very good cooperation and we today discussed uh, the plans for some joint military training between uh, armed forces of our countries. At the same time, Pakistan has a very developed defense industry, and we discussed very broadly cooperation in this area. Azerbaijan also, for uh, almost 10 years, is developing its defense industry, so we can work jointly to establish a joint production. At the same time, we want to <coughs> also purchase the most modern uh, and highly technological uh, weapons from Pakistan, and we have full understanding uh, in this issue. Other areas of uh, economic uh, cooperation were addressed today, particularly cooperation in agriculture, in tourism. I hope that after the electronic visa system will be fully its neighbors is implementing, will create new opportunities and will open new routes of transportation from Asia to Europe, from north to south. And Azerbaijan is situated on the crossroads of all these transportation arteries. Once again, Mr. Prime Minister, I'd like to express my gratitude to you for visiting us. I'm sure that the visit will be very successful and will play important role in strengthening of our brotherly relations. Thank you. I'd like once again to welcome you to our country. I'm very glad that you accepted my invitation and visiting us today. As we agreed during our meeting in Davos in the beginning of this year, we meet today and will continue our cooperation based on mutual interest based on friendship, history. صدر آزربائیجان اور وزیراعظم نواز شریف مشترکہ پریس کانفرنس کر رہے ہیں صدر آزربائیجان کا کہنا ہے کہ عالمی فارمز پر دونوں ممالک ایک دوسرے کی حمایت کرتے ہیں صدر آزربائیجان کا کہنا تھا کہ دعوت قبول کرنے پر وزیراعظم نواز شریف کا شکر گزار ہوں انہوں نے کہا کہ پاکستان ہمارا قریبی دوست اور اتحادی ہے آزربائیجان کا پاکستان کے ساتھ مشترکہ فوجی مشکے کرنے کا اعلان بھی سامنے آیا ہے مذاکرات میں دفاعی شعبے میں تعاون پر بھی بات چیت ہوئی ہے انہوں نے کہا کہ پاکستان آزربائیجان کو عسکری تربیت فراہم کر سکتا ہے دسٹنگش ممبرز آف دی پریس کور لیڈیز ان جنٹلمن First of all, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. President for saying these wonderful words for Pakistan and the friendship between Pakistan and uh, uh, Azerbaijan. It's a matter of great privilege for me personally to hear these remarks from the President. Uh, 
It is a matter of great pleasure as well for me to visit uh, this beautiful country together with my colleagues uh, who are also sitting here. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, uh, uh, for the warm welcome and generous hospitality uh, accorded to me and the members of my delegation since our arrival has ensured that I shall take back fond memories from this beautiful country. It bears mentioning that I am visiting Baku for the first time, Baku, the city of winds, as it is often called, maintains a semblance of a home for all Pakistanis. Multan Sarai, that I had the pleasure of visiting yesterday, uh, in the very heart of Baku is a testimony to the historic links between our two people. For the benefit of uh, our colleagues from Pakistan, I must say that this Multan Sarai is uh, named after the city of Multan uh, in Pakistan. And uh, Sarai, of course, is uh, a place where people come and stay. So uh, Multan Sarai, it was uh, really a pleasure visiting that place uh, yesterday. Such caravan Sarais dotted throughout our region are also emblematic of a greater truth, that we live in a region at the heart of major trade routes used for millennia. Being bearers of such proud traditions, the future is definitely ours. We have agreed to effectively channelize our energies in increasing connectivity leading to greater regional integration. I am impressed by the remarkable political stability, social cohesion and impressive economic progress of Azerbaijan the laudable socio-economic development and progress that Azerbaijan has achieved under President Aliyev's dynamic leadership is viewed with deep admiration in Pakistan. Pakistan and Azerbaijan have always shared similar perceptions and after my meeting with President Aliyev, I was pleased to know that the two of us also share congruent ideals. We believe that all regional and global issues must be resolved through dialogue and peaceful means within the framework of international law. We remain advocates of a peaceful neighborhood and peace for development in spite of naked aggression from other quarters. The courage to remain steadfast to the principles of peace, however, must never be mistaken for weakness. During my meetings, I have had the opportunity of discussing a wide range of subjects, including bilateral relational relations and regional and international issues, some of them highlighted by the President himself. And our mutual support on the issue of Kashmir and Nagorno-Karabakh disputes testify to the close understanding and convergence of views between our two countries. Pakistan has taken a clear position on the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. We call for a complete return of occupied Azri lands, withdrawal of Armenian forces from Nagorno-Karabakh and adjacent districts, and return of IDPs and refugees to their homes. I appreciate Azerbaijan's support for Pakistan's stance on Kashmir, which calls for its resolution through dialogue and peaceful means in accordance with the resolutions of the Security Council of the United Nations. This mutual support shall remain firmly in place till the final resolution of these outstanding issues. The prospects of our development and progress as well as the peace and security of our regions remain hostage to these conflicts. We have also signed a joint declaration which depicts our mutual resolve to enhance and diversify our already dynamic relations. We noted with satisfaction that our political relations are steadily growing. In our meetings today, we have agreed to further work towards improving our relations in the field of economy, investment, trade and commerce, energy, defense, agriculture, 
industry and other related fields. Our bilateral trade currently is non-commensurate with actual potential and needs to be revitalized. Views were also exchanged on the importance of connectivity and other, our greater vision for future. We have also decided to continue our cooperation in international forums, including the United Nations, the OIC and the ECO. My visit to Baku has provided both of us the opportunity to reflect on our common goals of progress, prosperity, development, connectivity and integration of the entire region. We reiterated our resolve to translate our close political relations into substantive cooperation in all spheres, particularly economy, trade, investment, energy and defence. Thank you, Mr. President, and long live Azerbaijan-Pakistan friendship. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mr. Nawaz Sharif and Sadr Azerbaijan were doing a press conference with the United States. Mr. Nawaz Sharif has said that the United States has been doing a very happy with the United States. Mr. Nawaz Sharif has said that the United States has been doing a very happy with the United States. Mr. Nawaz Sharif has said that the United States has been doing a very happy with the United States. Mr. Nawaz Sharif has said that the United States has been doing a very happy with the United States. Mr. Nawaz Sharif has said that the United States has been doing a very happy with the United States. Mr. Nawaz Sharif has said that the United States has been doing a very happy with the United States. Mr. Nawaz Sharif has said that the United States has been doing a very happy with the United States. Mr. Nawaz Sharif has said that the United States में متحدہ کی قراردادوں کے مطابق حل ہونا چاہیے وزیراعظم نواز شریف کے دورے کے دور رس نتائج سامنے آئیں گے ایسا کہنا ہے صدر آزر بائی جان کا انہوں نے دعوت قبول کرنے پر وزیراعظم نواز شریف کا شکریہ آدھا کیا